This is Rap the News. Before we get into this, I wanted to say this, that we are being watched. You know, Yudi Yasharil, people watched him and what happened out in the desert. People was watching Pastor Dow. People watched Watchmen Yah Fail, right? And people watched a whole lot of people come out to the wilderness in groups and fail. And the reason being is we have to understand the dynamics of ourselves and what happened to us in this captivity. We were taught to hate ourselves and each other. We were taught that ourselves is the enemy. We were trained by the enemy to make our own selves enemies to ourselves, right? We will turn our own people in to the enemy and that's what we will do. And so um, with that said, when we come out to the wilderness, we are coming out with all of our bad habits. We're coming out with our iniquity, our sin, and our low lifeness that we all coming out in the desert like this. And then we have to learn how to get along. One of the first things that we have to understand is we are all not perfect. And in order for us to live together out in the wilderness, and I'm experiencing, and I'm talking from experience, not just running my jab, right? We have to make peace, keep ourselves content, and learn how to resolve all our issues. Some issues are not going to be resolved. These are diseases, right? You ain't going to resolve homosexuality. You ain't going to resolve a chaotic person. You ain't going to resolve most iniquity. But since there's so many people out, everybody then becomes a protector of his brother and his sister and watch the one that's prone to touching people. Watch the one that's prone to taking somebody's wife and husband. Watch the one that's prone to murder and this one is prone to that. No diseases is better than the other disease. And that's what we have to find out. We all have to find out we're all guilty some type of way. And in learning that we're all guilty and there's no big I's and little U's, we have to learn how to put our differences to the side and start liking each other first and then eventually love each other. And this is what we are experiencing right now. We're learning how to get along we're learning how to start liking ourselves and each other. And then we're learning how to love each other. This, what we are going through with Yudah Yasharil and the children of, of Israel is a process. I've been through this process already. And this is how I know to notice a chaotic person, you know, a dysfunctional person, a drug addict, whatever. I noticed them all. I didn't dealt with them all. And then in dealing with them, you know how to deal with them, right? I worked in a mental facility. My job was to take down mental patients. And this is Hawaii. We had Samoans. We had uh, Hawaiians. They were big. Our job was to take them down to the ground and shackle them. And then the doctor come in and inject their ass with Thursine, whatever they're going to inject them with, booty juice, and put them under. And then the, the patients have to learn how to act right. Right. I noticed that no matter how insane a person is, they like free gifts. I noticed how, how insane a person is. They know how to get them smokes and smoke them. No matter how insane it is, they know when it's lunchtime. The insanity can't get past that. And then no matter how insane a person is, they know somebody that's going to whoop their fucking ass. And that's what they had to learn about me. And that's what you to have to learn about me. It ain't like I want to whoop ass. It's my damn job. It ain't that I want to be a teacher. It is my job. Right? I didn't sign up for anything. God guided me to this. And so he finally admitted in this video right here that he was wrong. Right? And then basically you got this guy in the comments, Yasharala Trendsetter, you gained a subscriber, rap the fake news, lost one. Going blast, squeeze first, ask questions last. That's how most of these so-called gangsters pass. 
rap the fake news lost one. Bye bye. My job is to teach, not be your friend, nigga. They never said what you say wrong or do wrong. You the did, and that's why I can just go back and say you're the one who are proved wrong and you lied. You are a deceiver. You don't even know you are a deceiver. You're deceiving the children of Israel. And so all I want to do with this video, it says, here's where you lied at. Here's where you deceived the people at. Here's where you was proved wrong at. You said and did a lot of evil things, sir. Can you apologize for one? Can you apologize at all? You know, can you be humble enough to admit like you just did in this video that you were wrong, but can you go back and make amends and apologize? Because if you can do that, then we can move on to the next stage. But if you can't do that, then you on your own. Let's get into this, man. You must be obeying the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. He literally has no idea of what he just said. He cannot comprehend what he said. So the only way that I can explain this is, is that I cannot sing. So it would not be my duty to be a singer if I cannot sing. That's what's happening here. He cannot teach, just like I cannot sing. I have listened to people who could sing, and they told me that I have to come from my gut. They told me I had to tighten up my stomach. They told me I had to raise my tone. They told me I had to be able to hear in order to sing. You know, I have to practice. I have to do this and that. And so, basically, no matter what they said, I couldn't get it to come out right. I can fake some shit, you know, I can make it sound good under some reverb or something like that, but everybody will know that I am not a singer, just like everybody knows you are not a priest or a teacher. You, sir, are an idiot, and that's not to talk about you, it is just a fact. An idiot is a stupid person, a person of low intelligence when it comes to these scriptures. You should not be guiding anybody because their salvation is at stake and you playing a game with their salvation. You can't afford to be wrong, sir. You know, it ain't like people singing the stuff where you can go back to the drawing board if you were wrong about something. You can ask somebody else. This is dealing with their salvation. You have to be right. And since you have been proven wrong, you can't even hear yourself then you should stop teaching. And so I put this together. You say something and then you don't comprehend what you say. And then this is why you're going back and said you were wrong. Let's get into that. You must be obeying the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. So we see that he can read. He stated that you have to obey the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. You know what that means? That means that you have to obey all of them, right? It's just like if America said you have to obey its laws in order to be a citizen of America and you disobey one law, you go to jail or you get ticket or fined or a misdemeanor or a felony. Well, when it comes to God, he is the only lawgiver. And if he said, obey my commandments, that means all of his commandments this day. Listen to yourself, though. You must be obeying the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. But I want to tell you something. You cannot keep the feast days. This is what you call confused. In one breath, you are saying, we have to keep the commandments, the laws, and the statutes. And the next breath, you are saying, we can't keep the laws, the statutes, and commandments. We can't keep this commandment, the feast days. And then you go on with more retardation. But you don't, you cannot keep the Sabbath. You must be obeying the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. You remember 
And that's what he told us. Remember the Sabbath. Idiot. Remember means to remember to keep all of his commandments. He told you in Deuteronomy 28, 15, to keep all of his commandments this day or all these curses that come on you. That's in captivity and everywhere you go. If you can't keep the, the, the Sabbath and you can't keep the feast, then you can't keep nothing. Then you just might as well be a sinner and get destroyed along with everybody else. The thing is, to the best of your ability, you keep all the commandments. But when you are teaching like this, you are confusing every goddamn body. You lying on me. And then you too arrogant to say you was wrong. Again, listen to yourself. You cannot keep the feast days in the land of your captivity. And I'll tell you why. To do that, you have to have three things. An ephah, a tabernacle, and a priest, which we have neither. We don't have either of those three things. And anybody that's claiming to be of the royal priesthood is a liar. So he said that to spite me because I said that I am a priest, right? First Peter's 2, 9, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood. So that proves him wrong right off the back, right? He should not be teaching. Numbers 25, 13, it will be a covenant, a permanent priesthood. Whether you're in captivity or not, this priesthood is permanent. As long as you are the people. So he doesn't know what he's talking about. Matthew 7, 16. You shall know them by their fruit. Because we're teaching and we know what the fuck we talking about. We know who we serve and you don't know who you serving, sir. It's just like this. I can't sing and you can't preach. You are confusing every goddamn body. Shut the fuck up. Can we keep this, the, the feast days in our captivity? And the answer is yes. Yes, we can. And I got over 20 scriptures that's going to back it up. You cannot keep the feast days in the land of your captivity. And I'll tell you why. Can, can we keep this, the, the feast days in our captivity? And the answer is yes. Yes, we can. And I got over 20 scriptures that's going to back it up. You cannot keep the feast days in the land of your captivity. And I'll tell you why. So if I misled anybody in the past thinking that we can't, I sincerely apologize. Unfucking acceptable because people's salvation is at stake. If you have a mom, dad, brother, sister, wife, or somebody you love, and they were listening to this man right here, and he told them not to keep the feast or the damn commandments or the Sabbath, and they end up going, dying and going to hell for eternity, is that forgivable? No. Their salvation is at stake. If you're going to be sitting here being a priest, you should know what the fuck you are talking about. I live these words. I sleep these words. I breathe these words. I eat these words. Nobody is coming in my damn stand and telling me a goddamn thing because they can't. And everybody's sitting here witnessing that. But right here, he getting corrected left and right. He told you to worship the damn devil. He told you the devil was God's friend. He told you it was another creator when it's only one creator. He told you that tithing was not money or income. Now he's telling you that you don't keep the feast and the Sabbath. And then he's going and correcting his damn self. And why all the while you confuse as hell. And then he putting down people like me who know what the fuck they talking about. I've been doing this for a long goddamn time. He's a new booty. He do not know what the fuck. You can look the part and you can be old and stupid as fuck. And that's what we have here. Geriatrics at its goddamn finest, folks. And then you got that loser saying, oh, I'm with you, Ock. Yeah, and both of y'all going to hell.
This is Rap the News. Gonna blast we first, ask questions last. That's how most of these so called gangsters pass. That's last. Rap the fake news lost one. That's last. 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 Bye bye. My job is to teach, not be your friend, nigga. This is Rap the News.